What, what really hurts me is that it, it really is a statement about everyone who believes yes. in this, that, that the country was built upon. Our Judeo-Christian foundation is the heritage of our country. To Common Sense TV, I'm your host, Doctor of Common Sense. Now, some of you may have heard about Mike Johnson, but have you heard what the media said about him? And the reason they said this about him is because he made this statement. He says that if you want to know what Mike Johnson's belief system is, just go look at the Bible. That was enough. I am a Bible-believing Christian. Someone asked me today in the media, they said, well, it's a curious, people are curious, what does Mike Johnson think about any issue under the sun? I said, well, go pick up a Bible off your shelf and read it. That's, that's my word. And so now, since he said this particular statement, they're, they're, they're labeling him as far right, anti-democracy. These are the same folks who's bringing grown freaking men into schools dancing in front of children. These are the same ones on Pride Month was having all of these nude men and women marching around in the streets, but they say he's an extremist. These are the same folks after the Islamic terrorists by the name of Hamas went over and slaughtered 14 Jews. They say is that uh, these folks are really peaceful. That's their religion. Mike Johnson's saying that he believes what the Bible says. They call that extremists. Well, don't we, shouldn't we label them as Christian phobia because we got a new task force saying Islam phobia. You heard that right. The Bible doesn't just inform his worldview, it is his worldview. Republicans unanimously voted in Mike Johnson, an extreme far right religious ideologue from Louisiana. Just because Mike Johnson believes in the Bible, they say that's grounds for this, us to call him extremist. We can't trust anything he says. This person cannot be a person of democracy because he believes in the Bible. These devils believe in everything ungodly. Everything they promote is ungodly. But they got a problem with Mike Johnson. Now, he's extremist. MAGA extremist, what they call it. They're saying you can't trust anything. He's a, he can't be rational. Same people who says that a man can become a woman and a woman can become a man. Men can get pregnant. And they're saying that you can't trust anything he says. These are the same devils that says, let's give operations to little children. But they're saying that Mike Johnson is an extremist because he believes in the yeah, Bible. This guy's a Christian nationalist. He's a Christian nationalist. When you're this much of a religious fanatic, there is no room for real democracy. He is a very loyal soldier to the far right movement. A low ranking far right Republican. Johnson. How can any of these fake Christians still be supporting the Democrats and the left? They're saying you believing in the Bible. Why, why is any Christian going to church? The party that, that you support, the Democrat Party, and the leftists are saying that Mike Johnson is an extremist for believing in the Bible. You can't make this up. See, they hate you. They hate the God of the Bible. They don't care about the other God. This has been, I've been proving this point time and time again. They're not really concerned. They'll let Islam have their protests, prayer rugs, and everything. Else. They'll say, you can't have Islam phobia. Why they're killing people. Johnson, a hard right conservative. A hard right conservative. A hard line conservative. Far right. Far Christian right. Far right extreme. Extreme. Far right. Far right. Far right. Far right. right. Much further to the right. And the reason is. But Mike Johnson, who's not killing people. Matter of fact, he says it's impossible for him to hate because he's a Christian. He says Christians, the whole center of what the Bible is talking about is love. But now love doesn't mean you just ignore your brain and park it outside and you don't call a spade a spade. This is what they're upset with. You know who's on the devil side because they always get mad at stuff like this. Here's a man who's who's soft, well spoken, uh, has a a, a laid back demeanor, and him and his wife has Christian values. They says we don't want this. Right. The reason this guy is speaker is none of us have the time to read his resume and realize he's David Duke light. MAGA Mike Johnson. There's a reason why they call him that. The MAGA faction, the anti democracy faction, the far right. One, does this signal that he and his extreme views represent the Republican Party? Mike Johnson has an affable personality, okay? These are the most dangerous types. Hardline conservative, but palatable. He will say the craziest things with just the most mild-mannered, milquetoast tone. He had you extremists. You are extremists if you believe what the Bible says. Now, is it possible for any Christians to still be supporting the Democratic Party? This is who the Democratic Party is. All the left <clears throat> and the Democrats, they're the same. The media, they're the same. Time and time again, just because he said he believes in the Bible, 
attack after attack. He's an extremist. We can't trust him. Nothing he says. You know why? Because the devils. The devil is upset about anybody who believes the word of God. You can believe that. Put us, you can put a pin in that one. They hate you if you believe the word of God. This is a fact. And this is my a prime example. See, they never want to do separation of church and state when it comes to Islam. Notice that when it comes to the gay agenda, because that's a religion, the, the climate change nuts, that's a religion. But they never tell the Islamic folks to park their religion outside. Jim Jordan with a jacket and a smile. It was very clear that he was, despite that Ned Flanders vibe, a, a fire-breathing conservative. Johnson is more dangerous than Donald Trump because Johnson actually wants to make America into a Christian theocracy. Didn't take a you can't say anything about them even when they kill people. But they're saying Mike Johnson. Who is Mike Johnson killed? Who is Mike Johnson harmed? Who is Mike Johnson even bad mouthed? They said we don't like him because he's a Christian. He's an extremist, far right extremist. Notice what they're saying. Anybody believes in the Bible is a far right extremist. You can't trust those. But this is the same thing. What's that uh, goon, uh, um, Janet Reno? She said anybody believe in the second coming. She thought that you, that you were some kind of a nut job. But these are the same folks who believe that a man can become a woman, that you should be chopping off body parts of children. That. If you truly believe in the Bible's commands and you, you seek to follow those, it is impossible to be a hateful person. Because the greatest command in the Bible is that you love God with everything you have and you love your neighbor as yourself. I'm okay. I'll take the arrows. I understand it comes with leadership. And when you Before they even develop. And they're saying, you're crazy. So you got to understand some when you're dealing with crazy people. They don't even realize they're crazy. But they're good at slanging. And these are some of the people, be, they'll be saying that they're a Christian. But they hate Mike Johnson because they don't believe in open borders. They don't believe men can become women. They don't believe Joe Biden is spotless. <laughs> they don't believe that, Joe, uh, that uh, Donald Trump is the devil. And for not believing that, extremists. Right wing extremists, these are demons you're dealing with. So you got to understand you're fighting against principalities in high places. These are chief workers of Lucifer himself. And they don't need you trying to rationalize with these devils. These are devils. They're upset at a man who say he believes in about what what he believes in what can't make it up.